much as I told you, just five minutes. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is uh your boy Three Stacks in this thing representing the squad. Um, so I just stumbled on something really, really redunculous. Um, doing test hands with my Zephyrus. So this is like one of the most insane openings I've had where you can have four to five negates. If you play right, you can get six. Um, it, it just depends. Um, so the cards you need are cards that make Electrum first, right? So what I have here are Dragon Shrine and Cerberus. I know one thing for sure, you want to have Cerberus so that you don't have to waste Electrum to dump Jackal King in your extra deck. Because you can still do that. You can still use Electrum, put Jackal King in your extra deck, and then pimp him out. Or just add him back to your hand to pin him some in from hand. Uh, so one for sure, you might want to have either Cerberus or the Jackal King itself. Shrine can be Grab Sorcerers, whatever it is. Honestly, this could be Chrono Astro. That makes it even more upsetting, like more insane, like more just, oh my gosh. Or this can actually be just Dark Worm himself, and this could be just, uh, you know, like, Chronographs. Like, these two cards, you have 15 cards in your deck that these can be. It's just insane. And then Zephrath, who is searchable. Providence, which is searchable. And Oracle, which is searchable itself. And the Oracle, or the Providence, or the Zephrath can actually be this card right here. Zephraxy. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it still works. Like, it's crazy. So, like... You have so many different combinations of card. Are you catching my drift? That can still end on the same board. So we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, activating the shrine. And you're going to dump your uh, dark worm. And this is one of the most broken combos I've ever done with Zephyrus. And it was not an intentional combo. When I show you guys this stuff, this was never on purpose. It was all completely by accident. That's what makes it more crazy. You do a test hand with your deck and you accidentally stumble on the best board you've ever made. Effect search dark zero. This is honestly the most powerful field I've ever made with my Zephyrus going first. This is a first turn combo that you know for a fact you're going to win. It's not like Pinwell Magicians where they dump Vortex and Hope Harbinger and Norito and pray to God that you can not play through three negates. This is like a field that puts up more negates than you can actually deal with. Like literally a negate for every card in your hand. Um, so like this is way stronger than what Pinwell Magicians could do. I don't care what anybody says. You'll see. You'll see. Because also, Pinnacle Magician boards lose to Amano Iwato. This board won't lose to Amano Iwato in the Draco matchup. So search that. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, do your, your Cerberus uh, scale. Use him. Pop himself. And you're going to add Jackal King. Then do Jackal King's effect. You know, Special Master Cerberus. Link these two away. Summon your Electromite. Uh, you're going to actually put the Astrograph Sorcerer because you're going to want extra copies of Jackal King. Then you're going to activate your Oracle of Zephyr. This is where you search Zephraxy using Oracle of Zephyr. Very important that you actually search Zephraxy to make the field more just stupid. And you're going to activate Electromite. You're going to actually relinquish your draw from Electromite. Uh, if you want to, you can still get it this turn somehow, some way. If you got a way to do it, you got a way to do it. But in order to make more negates, you have to. You have no choice. You have to relinquish the one draw that you would get off Electromite. I understand the draw makes a difference, but if you try to use Electromite to pop any of these cards in hand right now, you're going to lose a major play. So it's very important that you target your Oracle of Zephra and then destroy it. One other face card. Face of card. Add Astrograph. If a card you control is destroyed, he still triggers because a card you control is destroyed. This is a card and you controlled it and it was destroyed. So you just do Chain Link 1 Astrograph. Target your Jackal King. Add another copy of Jackal King from deck to hand. Very important that you take these steps um, and do it exactly how I'm explaining it to you. If not, you're going to realize that you could have made the board even more powerful. Then we're going to go ahead and go scale zero, scale Zephrath. Use Zephrath's effect in scale. Notice how I'm holding the Providence, right? It's very important to hold the Providence for a good reason that you can either see right now, you can see the painting, the writing on the wall, or you'll see it um, later on in the combo. So you're going to put Zephrano in your extra deck. Uh, now that you have a scale zero and a scale um, seven, you can proceed to Pendulum Summon two from your extra deck, which will be Jackal King and Zephranu. And um, you can summon two from your hand, which will be Zephraxi and the Jackal King that you searched off of your um, Astrograph. Then you have Chain Link 2, turn player priority. Chain Link 2, Zephraxi, target for cost. Chain Link 1, Zephranu. So Zephraxi turns Zephr uh, Zephranu into a tuner. Um, and then you have Column number 1, which is where he's... Uh, column number 5, which is Electrum's pointing to. This is column number three, the zones electrum, column number four, column number two, column number one, right? So he makes them a tuner, then he gets you your search of your nine pillars. Now that you've taken that step, you'll activate your uh, Zephyr Providence. 
which will immediately put two spell uh, spell uh, counters on these cards. So um, I don't have dice on me, but you know that Jackal King right now has two spell counters. So you already have two negates on field. And your Zephyr Providence is going to search another negate. So when you look at this card, this is a triple edge sword. This spell is a weapon. You just literally turn this one spell into three negates. One, two, three. Bam, right there. But these four negates on field still is enough. We're greedy. We're going to keep going. We'll then Synchro Summon uses a Fraxi and Zephrana. And we'll summon our Chao Fang over here in column number five. Now your ending board has one, two, three, uh, four, five forms of disruption. Chao Fang is a form of disruption in more ways than one. Right now, our opponent cannot activate any Earth Monster effects if that's relevant, if it's a Spiral matchup, whatever. Um, they, they just can't activate any Earth Monster's effects. They can't be used, but you set these. Your opponent has to play into this board, which is the very unfortunate and sad and true thing. So if you basically wait for your opponent to commit at least one card to the field, and you see that it's not problematic, and you let it resolve, they're now at five cards in hand. That's when you go, okay, chain link two, negate. Pop Chao Fang. Chao Fang effect. Add any tuner. Ghost Ogre for their Electrum. If it's a mirror match, hit their Electrum with Ghost Ogre. But just to say this is another negate, we'll add Ash Blossom, right? And then they're like, oh, activate an effect. Uh, Jackal King negate or Ash Blossom negate. So that's one negate. That's two negates. Three negates. Negate another card. Four negates. Oh, that's not enough. Five negates. Now that I've negated five cards out of your hand and you've played one card from your hand, Good luck, Duelist, because next turn, add up the damage, 24, 48, 73, 91, I believe. No, I'm sorry. A th that's too much damage. That's just too much sauce. But it, virtually, just with this opening, you are you're, you have to win the duel. Nobody's playing through five negates and making a comeback. And then after playing through five negates, miraculously, like a mysterious miracle, breaking your whole board and ulti killing you the second turn. Because these five negates also guarantee you another thing, another turn, which is important because your next turn, all you need to do is just push. And the cool thing is with the combo, it sets you up. It already has enough damage on board for you to just attack for game without doing anything else extra or fancy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this combo tutorial. Understand that there's a combination and sequence of a bunch of cards. And keep in mind that this is not like something that, oh, you know, this is like a combo that you're supposed to do. It's literally, I accidentally stumbled upon this doing test hands with my Zephyros while I was watching Percy Jackson uh, with my girlfriend. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you understand. You Do you see why I'm playing Zephyrus now? This is why. God bless you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love you. Remember, don't hurt your brain cells. Always remember that. I say that for a reason. Peace, y'all.